What's up y'all? So the hair I'm installing today is from Beauty Forever. Their information is in the description box below. With the package, they sent this stocking, a dust bag for the wig, a stocking cap, the sheer kind, um, this cute wig band, some lashes, and a brush. The wig itself is a 24 inch kinky curly reddish brown 13 by 4 lace wig. This is what the front of the wig looks like and this is what the back looks like. You can kind of get an idea of the original curl pattern. Um, I'll get to the roots later. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You can see it's transparent lace. It has your combs um, on the sides and it has an elastic band. Also a comb at the back and that lace at the back that I never know what's for. But yeah, this is what the wig looks like. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this hair. So the wig cap's already installed. I didn't feel like doing that in the video. We all know what that looks like. Um, I'm just using my makeup here from Black Opal. Got this from Walmart and I'm just putting it all over the lace to kind of color it. Even though this is the transparent lace uh, wig cap, you still got to color it a little bit because it's just not my complexion, obviously. Um, so I'm just taking the makeup and putting it all over the stocking cap. Now I'm just taking some lace tint and putting it all over the lace of the wig. As you can see, the lace is bright orange. That is my fault. Um, I called myself bleaching these knots and the bleach kind of made the roots bright orange instead of like lifting the color and making it brown. Either I didn't leave the color on long enough or the bleach on long enough. I don't know, child. That's why the roots look like this, but this is not how it usually looks. So getting that out the way, um, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the wig on my head and begin adjusting it to my head. Once the wig cap is fitted to my head, I'm gonna apply the glue. I used about like three or four layers of this glue, but of course I didn't show it here because I didn't feel like it. Um, so I'm just putting it on my forehead first. I apply, <clears throat> excuse me, I apply my glue in like patches because my hairline is a little funky. If you've seen my videos before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't go like in a straight line. It goes kind of zigzag. So I just apply it in patches so that I don't get the glue like on my real hair. Even though I applied a couple layers of the glue, it's still not enough for me. So I like to use this wig bond um, wig spray and I apply that along the perimeter of my head. And then I also put it along like behind my hairline. Um, but I think I'll show you that a little bit later. But this just helps the wig stay in place and hold down and it makes it extra secure. It makes it so that the wig honestly doesn't lift for days. And now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess lace. You can kind of see, not even kind of, you can get an up close here of how bright this hairline came out. And I'm so mad, but then like at the end, I feel like it actually looked kind of cute. I don't know, I don't know about cute, but it looked different. Like, I don't know if it looks like an accident or like I did that on purpose. I'm just gonna run with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I heard like colored roots is a thing. So we're just gonna pretend like I did this on purpose. But anyways, now I'm gonna part my hair in the front and just apply the wig spray behind my hairline. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and style my edges and pretend like they aren't bright orange. So I am um, doing one edge, is that is that a thing? One edge, one baby hair per side? One on each side, you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm doing this to cover up my natural hair on the side because I come down like kind of far just so you can't see it. I refuse to cut my natural hair, my natural edges for no wig. So as a repercussion of that, I have to play the cover up game. Um, for my edges, I'm using the Eco Style Gel and my edge brush, and I'm just going to swoop them into place.
So as you can see earlier, the texture of this hair was very uh, wild <laughs> and it like the curls just needed to be defined. So I'm just using my water and this curling cream, the pure honey cream from, I think that's cream of nature. Um, and I'm just saturating my hair with water <clears throat> and applying this all through my curls and I'm just using a brush to curl through it to define the curls. And this is just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks like. And now I'm gonna move over to the next side. Honestly, because I messed up the roots, I really didn't want to do like any type of parting or like a middle part with this hair because I feel like the orange is like super prominent in the middle. Um, but I did want you all to see what it looks like when you part it. So I just did it really quickly just for the sake of this video. But I'm actually going to wind up styling the hair differently just for something fun. Now I'm just taking some of my Got To Be Free spray and spraying it across my hairline um, to cover up the harshness of the lace and to make it blend and look more natural. Um, but pretty much after that, this is the finished look of the hair when it's down. And even though like the part is like super orange, I kind of like it. Like actually I like it a lot. It looks different. It doesn't look bad, honestly, it, in my opinion anyways. It doesn't look like, oh my God, what happened to your hair? It just looks like it's a little bit lighter. Like the hair is orange anyway, so it kind of goes. It doesn't, it's not like the hair is black with orange roots, like it's orange hair with bright orange roots. I don't know. Um, but I do wind up fixing it a little bit later. But before I get into that, I just want to go ahead and style the hair a couple of ways. With curly hair, especially Jerry curly hair, I really love the two Bantu knots or the two space buns at the top of the head, at the top of my head or your head, whatever, <clears throat> at the top of a head. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just pulling it straight up and I left out two little bang pieces because I feel like this style is super cute. Also with the bright orange roots, I just feel like it gives it that edgy look, but it's just my opinion. Okay, so I lied, right? So remember how I mentioned the two Bantu knots? I actually did that later. First, I wound up doing two little pigtails at the top of my head. Um, but right here, I'm just using some water, wrapping the curls around my finger just to like define my little um, bang pieces. But I did actually wind up using a wand to wand it a little bit later. I just didn't show it here. But <clears throat> sorry, y'all. I'm going through it over here, okay? So sorry, but anyways, yeah, I'm defining my little bang pieces and this is what it looks like with the two little ponytails. I'm just dangling with the two bang pieces. I think this looks cute. Um, maybe like a little juvenile, like, just, you know, for the younger ones. Like if you like this type of hairstyle, it's cute or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I decided to go ahead and put it up in the little band two knots. Uh, Cause I felt like that was just a little bit more mature. But before I do that, this is what I was talking about. I'm using the lace tint <laughs> cause I'm smart. I used the lace tint and I put over the orange spots and it really, really helped cover up. Look at that. Look, it really helped cover that orange. I was like, Ooh, go ahead me. I better be smart. So anyways, <clears throat> sorry. It helped for the sides. Um, I did it for the middle. It's still kind of really orange in the middle. Didn't help that much, but it helped for the sides. So we're just going to leave it at that. It's like a couple of specks of orange, but it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, I still think this style is super cute and from a distance, you can't even tell. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the little pieces around and make the little Bantu space bun style. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. 
I just want to talk a little bit about the hair. Like I said, I came, I came from, yes, I came from Beauty Forever. This hair came from Beauty Forever. Um, all the information is in the description box below. Um, I had no issues with like tangling or shedding or anything like this with this hair. Even it being curly hair, it really cooperated really, really well. And I was really happy with that. Um, this hair is super cute. I never have any complaints with Beauty Forever. They're actually like a top tier hair company in my opinion in my really like super honest opinion i really love them so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and putting up with my nonsense adios till next time